Demonstration you want? Fire away. Uh, you believe in uh, one leg day, I suppose, to a separate hamstring day and quad day? I like to do the whole thing all, all in one workout. I mean, I've tried separating it, but I feel I actually get a better contraction in my hamstrings after I've done quads and I've got the blood in, in the hamstrings and everything. And uh, uh, as far as calves go, if I think if you've got um, if you've got weak calves, a lot of people have problems with calves. Uh, I'll probably recommend doing that on a different day, just because if you do it after you've done quads and hamstrings, it takes so much physical and mental energy to do that. You're gonna be a little bit drained when you come to calves. With me, it was always a strong body part, so it didn't really matter that I was doing it at the end because I'm a little tired and so on. It didn't bother me, so. Um, but yeah, sure, it was a good argument for separating calves and doing it on a, on a separate day. Question. So what is different? What would you recommend to do on a leg press to build up your out of sweep uh, Close, uh, close, close grip. I mean, uh, out to sweep. You, you want to you, you emphasize more a slightly closer stance. Yeah. If you go wider, then you're going to be working more the doctors, the NFI, right? And how far do you come to bring it? Uh, to bring well, it down? I'll show you. I mean, every machine. First of all get the backboard down, yeah? I see right. a lot of people putting it up. That's because they're gonna get a two inch range of motion before the knees hit the chest, and they can put a lot of weights in there and press everybody, but they're not gonna get a lot out of it, right? You've gotta get a full range. It's all about maximization. So, you know, narrow, medium stance. What you wanna do is lock yourself in here. You don't want to rotate your hips back, yeah? Come down as far as you can, but it gets to a point where, you, you know, your quads are going as far as they can. You go any further, your hips start rotating at, at the bench and you're just putting stress on your lower back. So, keep everything really tight and locked in. Breathe in, all the way down nice and tight, on the way up. You need to absolutely lock out on the knees, not really. I mean, I would, I would just keep going. I can't, when I feel I'm really failing, I might knock out the top, take a few breaths, have a little pause, come down maybe one more, and I always have somebody on the side or at the back, just in case, you know, uh, for, for safety reasons. And also, if you're working on your own, you're never really going to go to failure, because you're always going to be aware that you don't want to get stuck under a few hundred pounds <laughs> on the leg press. Yeah? Right. So that's that's. It. One of my key key mass builders really. Well, I like to pre-exhaust first, do leg extension, do the leg extension first, pre-exhaust the quads, and then come on and do the pressing movement. Leg press, hack squat or Smith machine squat. The fact that you don't do you don't do lunges, right? You don't like to do lunges. Or lunges. lunges I mean, if you do a sport or something like that where balance is is important and everything, but I just want to isolate these quads and I want to absolutely hammer them, take them to failure. I can't do that on a lunge, it's like a, more of a balance thing. Right, but for uh, your glutes and stuff like that. For glutes, I mean, if you really want to emphasize on the glutes, lunge is a good exercise, but I mean, squat is a, is a better exercise. You do a squat with a wide stance, bend forward, and you're gonna, you're gonna work your glutes back. You know, how many people have really just see on stage, oh, that guy's got really weak glutes. Not, not very often, man. You see people with weak legs, you know? Right, right, right. do you find any um, differences in, like, in, in foot placement from top to bottom as far as emphasizing more like thickness around your kneecap as, more, as opposed to like higher? If you put your feet higher, you're going to shorten the range as far as your quads go, and it's going to be, you're going to be using more hamstring and, uh, and glutes. So, yeah, great if you want that, but how many people need that? You know, you want, most people want to concentrate on the quads, so I wouldn't have the feet too high, you know? And every machine is constructed differently, so uh, you just got to feel it, trying to position it where you're using quads to do the majority of the work. You know? Yeah, because I, I have more like leg development down the bottom as opposed to the top. A lot of people who had good leg development that I was looking that I was talking to said to keep your feet a little bit higher and kind of focus. It hits like up a little bit higher. You get down and you crunch your knees up. You get more of like a range of motion. I didn't know if that was true. Really, or not, you put your feet higher, 
You're just going to start using your your your, um, your glutes and your hamstrings more. Do you always squat first in your leg workouts? Is that always the first movement you did, or? No, I mean I used to do squats when I was younger, and I thought you know I read all the magazines and books and everything, and that's what everyone said that's the number one body exercise, number one for legs. You're not going to get big legs without it, so. You know, I dedicated myself to it for a few years when I started out. I got some injuries. I got some okay leg development. Not great. They were lagging a little bit behind my upper body. Uh, it, was, it was the little injuries that I got around my hips because I got quite narrow hips for uh, some, somebody of my size. Um, that kind of forced me to like reassess it. Well, maybe it's not the best thing. Let me, let me try and do a leg press and hack squat and stuff instead. My legs exploded. Much better. For me, the squat was really overrated. It wasn't a good quad exercise. Great overall exercise. Great if you're doing sports, if you're playing football, or something like that, any kind of sport. Uh, if you ask me what's the best overall round single exercise, I would say squats. Great all round exercise. Quads, you do high reps, it's great for a cardiovascular system, it's great for overall strength. Is it great for building championship legs? For some people, yes. If their structure means that when they squat, they're doing most of the lifting with the quads, it's great. For me, it wasn't, because I was doing most of the lifting with my back, and my ass, and it wasn't great. So, uh, I didn't do any free weight squats as a professional bodybuilder. Not a one single squat, yeah? And I won six Mr. Olympics, so. You know, you gotta find if it works for you. If it's not working, you don't like, but I gotta keep doing it because I read it's the best thing, you know? It's not for everybody. I got better better quad development out of doing this, out of doing hack squats. If I do a hack squat, I'm lifting everything with my quads. There's no it's hard to do, no lower back, no glutes, you know? So I can go to failure. Can you go to failure and really failure on squats? No, because your lower back's gonna give out first before your quads do. So for me it's a very overrated exercise. For somebody else, it might work great. You just got to find out for yourself, you know? What's the hack squat? What's the hack squat? Go all the way down. Outer sweep. Lower quads. That's all quads, man. I can go to failure on here. Total failure with the quads. So the machine works. Uh, what sort of position would you recommend if you really want to hit the sweep on your outer side on any fairly close stance? Closer, yeah. closer. You bring out, you come out wider. You're working more inner. You know, it depends on what you want, right? Do you find much benefit by um, by just absolutely bottoming out as far as range of motion? Oh yeah, yeah. go all the way down. So basically, just you know, be control. Definitely don't like bounce at the bottom. But if you if you control it, then it's no problem. Like it. right. I always notice guys with good legs always squat deep. Well, not squat, but any type of pressing. I always go. I always squat right past the floor. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. 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 That's probably also good for uh, separation, muscle separation. Muscle separation is uh, is genetic. And accommodate and, and get your body fat rate low. Right. There's no exercise that increases muscle separation. It's complete myth. Uh, uh, some people have got muscle separation in there when they get really lean. Some people don't, you know? Right. It's, uh, it's nothing to do with what exercise you do, it's the genetic formation. Can you give advice to someone who has needs more inner leg mass and blood, would you, would you directly stim stimulate it with like a hip abduction? Or whatever, whatever the movement is, whatever it's called, would you just be doing like a wide leg? It's a lot of leg things that, a total waste of time, yeah. Right. They're just for ladies, they think, you know. So basically just get, get like a wide stance, like press. Much better off. Leg press, wide, toes out, bring your knees down towards your armpit. And as you push up, kind of squeeze in. 
stuff like that. Right. Just hit it with yeah. a compound. Yeah, I, I, train, I train a few people. And I notice there's a lot of people that do leg press. And when it gets really hard, when they go towards failure, they start doing this. Their knees start going in. And that shows me that they're, they've got a weakness. Yeah. So, and, and these muscles are big. They grow real easy. So I'll have them a few workouts, do leg press like this, just to build up the strength there. And generally, after a few weeks, they've built up so much strength that they no, no longer have that problem, you know? And usually, they don't have to continue doing it, you know? Just now and then, you can do a wide set just to, just to maintain kind of thing, you know? Have you done anything unusual to develop legs? Like, did you, had you done lunges or anything that's not so traditional? Well, I haven't done lunges. I think they're a waste of time. It's still the exercise. Can you explain how you Can you explain how you Because um, as a bodybuilder, I'm trying to develop my quads, or I'm trying to develop my hamstrings. Um, if you're doing lunges, it's like it's like a balance and all. I'm not saying it's useless. It's, if you're if you're doing sports and so on, it's probably great because you've got balance and all those muscles are working together. But it's impossible for me to go to muscular theta with my quads on, on lunges. I'm not going to do it, I'd rather isolate it and focus on what I'm trying to do. I know a lot of ladies like to do lunges because they think, oh, this is really working my body. But if you need to do a squat and you sit down on the floor with a squat, it's 10 times better than lunges. It just doesn't look so great. So basically, you just want to, uh, you want to decrease as many variables as you can. In, in a sense, where you're doing a lunge, you have so many different, so many different areas of muscle groups yeah. to focus on. If you're form. doing lunges, you, you, you think you can really go to muscular failure yeah, with quads? It's so. not. It's just like overall, like your balance goes, and it's just you know, as a bodybuilder, it's just not really, really that effective. And uh, you know, how many guys really want to emphasize their glutes and need more size in their glutes? It's very, very rare. You know? If you wanted to, maybe lunge is one of the exercises. It's actually a negative thing, isn't it? I mean, it, 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 yeah, it, it, you know, when, when I started squatting, my ass was getting big and my legs were like prone, but that, you know, and it's, it's spoiling the symmetry. If I can keep my hips smaller and, and that whole area smaller and more size on the quads, it gives the illusion of more size yeah. as well. A lot of the modern bodybuilders, like, I don't mean modern, but I mean if you, if you were considered old school and this is new school, they seem like they always have like the bigger glutes and everything. But maybe that just comes along with more mass. Yeah. But it kind of seems to throw the symmetry off. Like you said, it looks to make you like like a carrot. Yeah. As opposed exactly. to the heavier weight of the body. Heavy squatting you tend to get a lot of. You know, glutes are the most powerful single muscle in your body, so and they're involved in squatting, so and, and they're, they're going to grow. But it's very rare that you would see a bodybuilder on stage and think, oh, he needs more.